What is going on YouTubers? It's Texas Tactics and today we're gonna learn about brake systems and setting up your reel. There is a lot of you that know how to do the brake system and set set up a reel, but there is quite a bit of people, whether you know it or not, that do not know how, and this is for y'all. So we're gonna start out on the outside of the reel and move on to the inside. This knob behind the handle is your drag. So that means how much stress it takes to pull for the line to break to where you can actually pull it out. See, if you tighten it all the way down, all the way down, it's a lot harder to pull. But if you loosen it all the way, loosen it all the way to the left, lefty loosey, righty tighty, look, it just falls right off. And the handle is clicked, by the way. Once you loosen it all the way, it's, it, it, it doesn't even have enough power to spool the line in. They put this feature on there, so if you have a 15 pounder on and your rod is bowed to the max, it will release the rod and let line go out so you don't bust your rod or bust your line. You can set it perfect to your line if you're good enough. You just do it often. If you keep on breaking off, you just loosen it down, loosen it down, and you'll find your little sweet spot. This knob right here is to tighten the spool. So if you tighten it all the way like I do right now, and I do this right here, see how tight it is? It doesn't wanna, the buttons click and it doesn't wanna roll backwards. But if I loosen it all the way and I do that, Look at that. It starts going wobbly all over the place. So if you're in the wind, that's the, this is the reason why they put this feature on here. I'm sorry, I had gum in my mouth. The, this is the reason they put this feature on here is because of the wind. If you're trying to cast in the wind, you tighten it down so you don't backlash all the time. And it can be more of a backlash controller if you are backlashing a lot because maybe your brakes are set a little high you can tighten this down and you can cast without backlashing, but once you tighten it down, you're not gonna be able to cast as far. That's why I'm gonna show you in here how you can cast farther depending on how you're thumbing the spool. On these bait casters, there's always gonna be a number of a gear ratio. The gear ratio means how many times does the spool turn on a single clockwise rotation on the handle. So if I rotate this handle one full time, it's going to, the spool is going to turn seven times to the handles one. So if you have a six, it's the same thing. You have a five, it's gonna go slower. You can use for cranking. The lower gear ratios are gonna be more powerful. If you know anything about gears and transmissions and cars, it's the same thing. The lower the gear, the more powerful it is. Oh, by the way, this is a Shimano Citica seven to one to gear ratio. I would not recommend this year model if you have a choice, I would get the one before this or the one after this. As soon as they went to this one, they immediately turned back and went back to the old one. Um, something about it, I'm not all into the reel. I, I know a little bit about it, but I don't know why. These Shimano Sudikas last if you keep them up and oil them. And inside of the, take that off, there's going to be a spring in there. So watch it, don't lose the spring, but you can oil it if it ever starts uh, feeling a little stiff on you and you can stick a little lube inside this little crack. I mean, I do for that. And I put lube on in this little turning thing. There's a little metal thing where it connects from the eye guide to the, to the spinning. It's easy to get into. You just turn this and it falls out. Some the older Shimano Sitikas did not have this to where it was connected and if you're wade fishing you could lose the cap which that's a really good add-on they made so a lot of people when they open this are like oh my god I don't know what's going on okay so once you open that you can pull this out I already did because the line got caught up but a lot of people look at this and they're like I don't know what to do out you just click it out is on in is off so if you push them all in right now, I promise you, nobody listening can cast it. Nobody listening right now can cast it. But if you pull them all out, it's gonna be just like if you tighten the spool up, it's just gonna be, and you barely can cast it. 
So me, I usually do one or two breaks out depending on which reel it is. A lot of, some reels are smoother than others. With this one, I have one out and that's it. But as soon as I put that last one in, you're gonna backlash every single time. So for a beginner, I would say leave them all out, cast it, push one in. Cast it five times, push another one in. Cast five more times, push another one in. And as soon as you start backlashing, as soon as you start backlashing, mess with the, tighten it or loosen the spool tightening um, knob. And then, then you can really dial it in. So this is like your main and this is to detail it pretty much. And also when I was talking about lubing, you have a little bearing right here, which this spins on. And once you take the spool out, you can squirt a little lube inside there. That's the bad thing about the lubes and some of the Abu Garcias. You cannot get inside the reel and lube it up. That's why these reels will last a lot longer than them because you cannot get inside. And we fish salt water, so just being around the salt will ruin your reels if you do not rinse them or lube them. If you're wade fishing, a little splash of salt water can ruin a reel. So every time we come back, we make sure we rinse them and every at least four months we lube our reels depending on how much we fish in that four months thank you for watching that is my video on how to detail your brakes and all the parts on a bait caster thank you for watching once again i've said that twice last thing if you have any recommends on any videos or questions you want me to make a video on just leave that in the comments send me an email let me know. I'll be reading those. And remember, these are daily, so hopefully I can get your question answered as soon as possible. Texas Tactics out.